Oi, oi. What's up? Working on some uh, non diking equipment. I know, shocking. These are some uh, engineered air units. They're, uh, these are older, 2008 R22, but uh, they're not bad units. They're pretty good. I give them credit. They, do, uh, they did a pretty decent job with these things. Dan Foss compressors, uh, this circuit one here, it's kind of interesting, they all kinds of stuff, sorry, we got a bunch of, bunch of stuff in here, but they got a receiver down there, they got a ORD, head pressure control valve, there is modulating hot gas reheat, here's the control section. Yeah, it drives for the blower and the exhaust fan, which here's the exhaust fan. They got another little cabinet in here. There's a energy recovery wheel here. Here's your four circuits. You got, like I said, modulating hot gas reheat coil there. You got hot gas bypass. There's circuit one, two, three, four. This right here is uh, your evaporator. Exhaust fan. Outside air intake. There's the heat wheel again. There's your EVAP. And the, uh, here's the blower where the reheat coil is, which I'm not going to open up that one, but yeah, these are pretty nice little units. I guess I really shouldn't call them little, but they're pretty nice. I mean, there's another one there we're working on. These have, uh, these are DC motors for the, uh, heat wheel and it, at least that's what is listed and it's got a, uh, it's got a VFD up here for the wheel this is actually the return air from the building yeah uh, they were nice enough to give me the the program here so I can use my laptop which I'm gonna do and log on to this unit and see what I you know see what I can see in there I've uh, haven't checked it out yet uh, yeah this particular one has 96 pounds on the first stage. These are all independent. These aren't uh, these aren't uh, tandems or anything. They're all there's four independent circuits on these things, and it's a interlaced evap coil. They all interlace along the entire length of the coil. And yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm gonna hop to it and see what we can get accomplished. Just replaced that VFD up in there and uh, we have a functioning heat wheel. It was a pain in the butt, that, that VFD right there. Connected to the uh, C-Track controller and here we go I'm starting to see calculated ambient temps discharge air temps 
Yeah, I, I'm gonna, I gotta mess with this, obviously, but uh, I got this thing to work. Here's your VFD. There we go. Discharge set point by BMS. 60 degrees, huh? Okay. But it's working. This is cool. Uh, these these guys, uh, the engineered air, their tech support was great. You know, I found the program online. Um, but they've been very, very helpful. So shout out to those guys. Uh, you know, they, even though, you know, technically I'm a competitor, they were more than happy to help. Uh, the guy I've been dealing with was an uh, outstanding individual. I talked to him on the phone once, but uh, I've been emailing with him, and he's very quick to respond. So, Engineer Dare, if you guys ever see this, shout out to you guys and your tech support. You guys do a fantastic job. This is Circuit 2. I'm doing a leak search, and you can see the refrigerant leaking out of the bellows. So this is that engineered air unit again. Uh, circuit 2 is the only one not running, but that's because I found the uh, pressure control was leaking. But other than that, uh, everything else is running pretty good. I have a lot of overrides on right now because I'm trying to run the whole thing and see how it, every operational compressor is doing. I mean, you can see the oil bouncing in the side glasses, which is a good sign, and they're not foaming. I'm going to turn the overrides off. Uh, heating on. <laughs> it's turning the heating on. the ORD valve and the other the other side of it's right here you see yeah it's got the receiver it's got a uh, a maxitrol, so it's got modulating gas heat. There's 
where it injects on the ORD, it injects discharge into the receiver. The, so you can see here, the term Y S, SP2 by POT potentiometer is this right here. And I had it set for 50, which I obviously don't need anymore. So you can see, yeah, it's climbed up a little bit. I'm gonna go a little bit more. Try to get it to 55. Yeah, that's pretty good. The, I don't know why the, the automation is calling for a 61 degree discharge air temp set point. That's quite high. Let's check on the rest of this thing. Those belts look a little loose. I said for especially for a 2008 it's a pretty pretty decent unit not bad freaking wheels pretty dirty the evap coil Here's the blower. Oh my goodness, yeah. These belts are sloppy loose. All the condenser fans work. <laughs> 